Living in Manchester, Stockport Esley Shed was one of my local steam depots. Between 1967 and 1968, I visited there four times. This 15-year-old lad wearing a Pacamac with his 8mm camera is me. From the cinder path I'm filming engines moving around Edgley Shed Yard. Stockport Station, five miles from the centre of Manchester, was an easy walk to Edgley Depot of less than half a mile. A network rail maintenance yard now occupies the site. The cinder path off Boot Street gave me an easy access to the shed. In 1967, freight trains were passing the shed at regular intervals. Suddenly a policeman appeared in front of the camera. You can see his helmet on the right of the frame. After a brief exchange of words, he let me carry on filming. The coal train was heading for Liverpool. In May 1967, there were 31 locos at the shed, mainly Black Fives, 9Fs from Birkenhead, with the odd Britannia, and of course 8Fs. Frequently planes heading for Ringway Airport flew overhead. From the shed I walked south to Stockholm Road, where the line split into three directions. Buxton on the left, Warrington and Liverpool on the right, and crew down the middle. I spotted a light engine coming up the crew line. Then I heard a freight approaching on the Warrington line and ran back to the other bridge to watch a heavy Stanlow oil train approach with two 9Fs. Once the oil train had cleared, a long coal train set out for Liverpool, hauled by an ATEC running backwards. Around all this, shunting continued. After a crew change at the shed, the Birkenhead 9S restarted. This was a regular working from Merseyside heading for the Pennines and ultimately Leeds. On my second visit in 1967, there were 21 locos on share, and still a lot of action. A crusty boiler 9 rolled in with oil empties returning to Stanlow. Whilst the Crossley waited for a fresh crew, I heard another train 
and swung round as a full oil train approached, headed by a Black 5 and a 9F. My dad and I waited to see if the Krosty 9F would leave, but it didn't while we were there. On another summer Saturday my dad and I headed up the Warrington line to see whether we could catch a Stanlow oil train passing through Cheadle. We found Newland Road off Manchester Road paralleling the railway until it went under a bridge so we walked up this path. Above us, a crossly boiled 9F headed back to Birkenhead, light engine. Once on the embankment beside the track, trains started passing. A coal train headed over the newly ballasted track. Then a WD on a similar train. Unfortunately, we saw no oil trains. My last visit to Edley was on Thursday the 20th of April, 1968, just two weeks before it closed. The only movement was a Black 5 and the relentless aeroplanes passing overhead. I noticed a man pushing an empty 16-ton coal wagon along the coaling stage. Then two men tried to push a full one into position, but failed until a young lad lent a hand. Once in position, the conveyor could start slowly loading the 8F's tender with coal. That was the last piece of action I saw at Edgeley. From being very active a year earlier, it was amazing how quickly these steam sheds died in 1968, only four months before all steam ended on the main line. That's all for now and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. See you here next time.